Hey there, champions. Welcome back to another Read Aloud. Tonight, we're reading a really cool book called The Sandwich Swap, and it's written by Her Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah. Um, and she writes before we read the book. It says, To Hussein, Iman, Salma, and Hashim, my little ambassadors of hope, and to all the world's children, swapping sandwiches is just the start. And you'll see what she means. Here we go. It all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. How many of you have had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, most of you probably have. And it ended with a hummus sandwich. How many of you have had a hummus sandwich? Hmm. Selma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. How many of you draw pictures with your friends? They played on the swings together. I love the pictures. They jumped rope together. And they ate their lunches together. But just what they ate was a little different. Lily ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. Selma ate a hummus and pita sandwich every day for lunch. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought Selma's sandwich looked very weird and yucky. She felt terrible that her friend had to eat that icky chickpea paste every day. Ew, yuck! And although Selma never said it out loud, she thought Lily's sandwich looked strange and gross. She felt just awful that her friend had to eat that gooey peanut paste every day. Ew, gross. Here they are, eating their lunches. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say? Selma asked, thinking she must have misunderstood her friend. I said, your sandwich looks yucky. Selma frowned. She looked down at the thin, soft bread, and she thought of her beautiful, smiling mother as she carefully cut Selma's sandwich into two neat halves that morning. Her hurt feelings turned mad. Yeah? Well, your sandwich looks gross, and it smells bad, too, Selma snapped back. Lily looked surprised. She sniffed the thick, squishy bread, and she thought of her dad in his silly apron, whistling as he cut Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ew, yuck. Ew, gross. What happened to the friends? What's going on? Hmm. Let's see. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together, they did not swing together, and they did not jump rope together either. The next day, Selma ate her lunch at one table and Lily ate her lunch at another. Meanwhile, the peanut butter versus hummus story had spread and everyone began choosing sides. Each side had something not so nice to say about the other. Peanut butter breath, jelly heads, garlic breath, chickpea brains. Pretty soon, the rude insults had nothing at all to do with peanut butter or hummus. You're weird. You're stupid. You look funny. You dress dumb. And then it happened. Someone yelled. So here they are, and now the whole school's involved. They're not being very nice. They're using unkind words. And then it happened. Somebody yelled, food fight! Peanut butter and hummus sandwiches and other lunch favorites began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls. They stuck to the ceiling. They stuck to the lunch lady. When the sandwiches were all gone, pudding cups and applesauce and carrot sticks took flight. Selma and Lily looked at one another from across the rowdy, splattered room. 
They both felt ashamed by what they saw. Look what had happened. They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office after they had helped after they had helped clean up the mess. The following day, Selma set her lunch down across from Lily's. The two girls nibbled on their sandwiches in silence. Finally, Lily got up the courage to speak. Would you like to try a bite of my peanut butter and jelly? Selma grinned. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I'd like that. On the count of three. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. They tried each other's sandwiches. Mmm, yummy. Hey, this is delicious. And this is heavenly. The girls giggled and hugged and they traded sandwiches. After lunch, Selma and Lily met with the principal again. This time, they were there to suggest a very special event for the whole school. So all that time they thought the other one's lunch was gross and they tried and they actually liked it. And that's how it all began. Oh, hang on. Okay, yes. And that's, am I missing a page? No. This time they were, they were there to suggest a very special event for the whole school. And that's how it all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. And everybody in the school is having a sandwich swap. That's what they suggested to the principal. Pretty cool, right? And here's a little ending author's note. When I was in nursery school, my mother used to send me off every morning with a hummus sandwich inside my lunchbox. One day I watched a friend open her lunchbox and bite into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I thought, how revolting. I had never seen food so strange. She asked if I would like to try it. And because I didn't want to hurt her feelings, I braced myself and tasted it. Well, I thought it was heavenly. I learned a lesson that day. And that's how the story came about it's easy to jump to conclusions when we come across something new or foreign or strange. But if we take the time to know each other, stand in each other's shoes and listen to different point of views, we learn something wonderful about someone else and about ourselves. I want every child who reads this, I'm sorry, I want every child who reads the tale of Selma and Lily to understand this. When they do, they'll each become a little ambassador of hope someone who helps bring people of all cultures and backgrounds closer together. Rania Al-Abdullah. It gets me emotional. There it is. That's the author. Um, yeah, so learn from each other. And if some, I know we're not supposed to share lunches in school, really, but um, you can talk about them and maybe you can go home and ask your parents to make a different kind of sandwich and try something new. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and I will see you all next time. Be kind. Good night.